Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to package your Flat app for Windows. So the way we're going to go through this video is first install Git for Windows, then install Visual Studio, then Flutter CK, and finally build our app for Windows. So if you know any of these parts already, or if you have Git or Visual Studio installed, you can skip those parts. But I really recommend watching the whole video. So let's go. The first step that we're going to take is go to Google. And I'm going to type in flutter.dev. Here, we're going to go to get started section. It says here, choose your development platform to get started. So we're going to choose Windows and then Desktop. So here, the first step that we're going to take is install Git for Windows. So I'm going to open this. And here, we're going to download this. Now I've already downloaded this. I'm going to click on it. Hit yes. And here it's pretty simple. We're just going to hit next, 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 and next, 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 and everything on default. Okay, once the download's finished, we're going to hit finish. And I'm going to open command prompt. And write git dash dash version in here. So based on this, we can see that git is installed successfully. So this is step one. Now the step two, we're going to install Visual Studio and this is different from uh, Visual Studio Code. And once the download's finished, I'm going to click on it. We're going to hit continue. And we just wait for this to finish. So once the download's finished, we just need the one thing from here. And that is desktop development with C++. Only this. And uh, once I click on this, I'm going to hit install. And we just wait for this to finish. Okay, once Git uh, and uh, Visual Studio is installed, the next step is to install Flutter SDK. So first we're going to download this file and wait for it to finish. Okay, once the download's finished, uh, we go to our PC and C drive. We create a new folder called source and then inside this folder we create another folder called flutter and then we go to our download and we extract the 
file that we downloaded here. So once we extracted the zip file, we can open Flutter console and we can type flutter dash dash version. So as we can see here, we successfully extracted flutter, but we also need to add flutter to our path, environmental variable path. So what we're going to do is uh, hit Windows key and and we're going to choose this one. Edit environmental variables for your account. So here we can see that we have a variable called path. So I'm going to hit edit and I'm going to add this directory here. C source uh, flutter flutter bin to my path. So new one, okay, and then okay. So now if I open a command prompt, I can write the same code as before, flutter dash dash version. And I can see that flutter has been added to the path successfully. So now we have a uh, installed anything that we needed so by now we have everything installed that we need we have git we have flutter sdk and we also have visual studio for creating a windows application so next i'm going to demonstrate building an app for windows with a very simple application that i written in flat so let's open this so first I'm going to create a virtual environment uh, python dash m vnv dot vnv and now let's activate this all right so I'm going to install flit first, pip install flit. All right. So once we installed flit successfully, let's test this app. Now, as you can see here, this is a very simple flit app. And we're going to build this for Windows. So notice here, when we build this for Windows, we can have our custom icon. All right, so let's build this. So as we can see here, customizing app icons and a splash screen was okay. Uh, generating app icons was okay. Packaging Python app was okay. But here, if you see uh, something like this, an error like this, run this command, start MS settings developers, and here, turn this on. And now we're in developer mode. So now let's try this again. Now this part, building Windows app, might take a lot of time, so be patient. And this is the best part, copying build to build Windows directory, okay, and success. Now, uh, before opening the final version, I just want to tell you some important things. Uh, when you're uh, making your flat app, just remember that if you have any assets like fonts, images, uh, 
music or videos put all of them in assets even if you have api keys in json format anything just put them in assets folder and you will be good to go so let's go to our build folder And now let's open this. And as you can see, I have my flat app and I have my custom icon. So if I zoom in here, this is my uh, custom icon. This is the icon. As you can see also here in the taskbar, this is the custom icon. And if I also go to task manager, even here we have the custom icon. So we've built our Flat app successfully for Windows. And as I said before, if you have any kind of assets like images or anything just put them here and uh, any python file can be here so yeah good luck and see you in the next video